One off the line, and I kind of have been hearing some good things, but I'd like to hear what you had to think is Evan Curl. Uh, how much has he improved from last year? You know, he, he's done a great job. You know, he's kind of filling in, you know, as a sixth man in the interior, so to speak. Um, you know, and he, he's done a good job. You know, le learning the new offense is a, is a challenge for everyone. Um, and, and he's done a good job, you know, grasping that and, you know, doing, you know, moving at 100%, you know, and not not being held back by that. When you say six main on the interior, is that kind of like after you and Tyler and was it Josh too? You, you know, I maybe I shouldn't label him exactly six man because I'm going to get in trouble. But, you know, he's he's definitely up there in that rotation. And yeah, he, he's one of the first guys to come in in that interior. I know some of this stuff probably is similar to what you guys done before. What's the biggest change you've got to do right now? You know, I, th I think the biggest thing is just – continuing to learn the terminology but not you know get held back and become you know thinkers you know as, as coach Riley's told us multiple times you know football's about reacting on the o-line and and being comfortable enough with the schemes and the calls to be able to just go out there and react and play football and so you know as we move further through spring ball you know it, it becomes more about learning to just play and focus on those technique things than maybe be held back by some of the new terminology and the new plays. I think primarily you're usually just at center and you have the last couple of years. Are you getting a little bit more practice time at guard now? You, you know, that, that's something that because with it being spring ball and a new coach and staff, you know, everybody's working multiple positions because, you know, it's, it's, it's in the best interest of any O-line to have guys that can play multiple positions and just working that flexibility is, is something that's huge and it's only, it's only going to benefit down the road. Is there any offensive players that kind of jump off the page to you in terms of you know, making a big improvement that you're kind of proud of at this point? You know, I, I think, you know, some of the, just the, the younger guys in general on the O-line, there, there's, there's a few guys in there that have, have done a great job. You know, I think some of our younger wide receivers, you know, Hunter Ryzen, Joaquin Gill, guys like that have really started to stand out. You know, you've got Dalton out there making plays, but some of those, you know, younger guys that maybe haven't seen as many reps have been huge. And then between uh, Harry and then, you know, Gilbert, th those two guys at running back, you know, have done a great job as well. Do you think you're, I mean, Alex Barnes is going to be tough to replace. He's going to play in the NFL. Mm -hmm. How, I don't want to say how far do you drop off, but do you think you guys got the, the suitable replacements in place? You, you know, I, I think we've got great potential in, in both of those guys. You know, they're, they're physical, they're downhill. You know, they're guys that when they get the ball, they take care of it and, and, and they run hard. And so I, I think, you know, obviously it's hard to, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. It's hard to replace someone like Alex, but I think we've, we've got some good guys coming up to fill that spot. Same question, kind of on the defensive side. Any, mm -hmm. I guess maybe if you want to talk about the younger players or just guys that are kind of making that stride. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, Justin Hughes at linebacker, you know, the linebackers are doing a great job. You know, obviously, you know, you got to mention a guy like White Hubert out at the end, you know, still a young guy, only had one season under his belt, but just to see what he's been doing is, you know, very impressive. Um, yeah, those are, the, those are the guys I see the most. You know, Trey's always, you know, mixing it up on the interior. So I think, yeah, everybody's kind of, you know, they're growing under this. You know, I think a lot of guys, we, you know, because they've got a new system too, just like we do on offense. And, and those guys haven't been hindered by it either. You know, they're, they're you know, they're, if they're making mistakes, they're making them at 100 miles an hour. And they're, you know, they're working hard and their efforts never, you know, in question there. I guess what everyone kind of anticipates Josh Rebos and Nick Meyer being the two that step right in for Beach and Reisner. Is it that simple? You know, That'd be a good question for Coach Riley. You know, I think, you know, on it, it's hard to know. You know, we're, we're we're a ways out from you know any sort of game situation. Those guys definitely have done a great job of coming in and filling those spots. Um, but to to say that you know to, to lock something in like that, you're gonna have to ask Coach Riley on that one.